What's her problem? Domestic violence? Anything else you want to know? And I've got severe tendonitis in both my arms, so what they yep. did just really hurt severely. Can you stand up for us? Gee, that'd be swell. I need you to hold. No, you're not going anywhere. Just don't grab my arm, ma'am. Then hold still and listen to direction. We won't have to. Okay, listen to me. Don't move anywhere. Face this way. I'm the one that got beat up tonight. You ever play that game called Freeze when you're a child? And go. Good job. Okay. We're gonna take it to the window. We need to get your finger printed, okay? Close to the end. Hi, so what do we got? She's suicidal. She's suicidal. She just go over there and just try to relax. I'm gonna check back in with you in a little bit, okay? Hey, Alistair Leha. Do you know what she came in here on? Um, I believe it was battery DV. I'm not sure yet. Her paperwork hasn't come up, but um, when the transporting officer had me pat her down. He said that, uh, you know, to be careful with her, she was pretty upset because she was involved in a domestic violence issue with her boyfriend. So she came in, was she fighting when she first came in? She was pulling away from him when he was bringing her in. Yes. Okay. Just try to relax. Because I'm on your side. Sorry, I'm just a little pissed off because my arm is in a severe okay. amount of pain because you over grabbed and why do you think that? You brought like, that on yourself, ma'am. You brought that on yourself. Because you yeah. can't listen to yeah, me. because I got beat up by my boyfriend I'm tonight. I'm right here. You don't have to yell at me. I'm right here. I got beat up by my boyfriend You're tonight. You're still yelling. Come I here. got beat up. Yeah. Get up and do not the f off my hair. Do not get the f away right, yeah. from me. Please don't touch me. No, you have the choice. I have to hold your arm because you cannot be controlled. Do you understand that? You have forced us to do this the hard way. Now you're going to be restrained in our restraint chair until you calm down. And have a seat. Sit back in this chair. Have your legs. You got legs? Just because that's what I know. Much better. It didn't have to be like that. You were you. Okay, okay never so mind. Much. I love you too. She obviously couldn't calm down. She also said that she was suicidal, so we don't have any rooms where the suicidals go. And uh, so we had to put her in the restraint chair. She's going to be sitting here for a while until she can calm down and relax. When she came in, she was so aggressive and wouldn't behave that she had to be put into the Code 5 chair. I'm just going to make sure she's doing a little bit better. She's had a few hours to wind down. All right. Do you remember what, exactly what happened? Yeah, I started being a smart ass, so they put me in a chair. All right. What happened before that? I was attacked. Yes, I was attacking my boyfriend back. I think I probably kicked him with my feet. So he starts on me and grabs the hair and takes, puts his hands around me and starts slamming my head against the window. That's why I jumped out of the moving car. I was asked if I wanted to press charges. I said yes, and they say, you know, I'm the one that's going to jail. When you get out of here, are you going back to your boyfriend? Yeah. It's your choice. She's been in there for a while that she can think about what's been going on, and reality's hitting her right now. So I can only hope she makes better decisions next time, and, you know, good luck to her. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my own.